Hello, so we'll look at some forces today, some pushes and pulls. And the equipment you'll need are some lollipop sticks, some clean ones. I think you need about four for this investigation. Okay, so you need to collect those, some elastic bands and a bottle top. Okay, now, what you need to do is, if I have a lollipop stick, I can use it to flick things. And they do flick quite a long way, they're really good. So I'm pulling it back and it's pushing an object forward. I'm using a little pom-pom. You can use scrunched up paper, piece of blue tack, anything that you've got lying around really, a piece of cotton wool, a cotton board, anything at all. Your job is to just use these, a lollipop stick, elastic band, and you are going to make something that will fire your object the furthest. So what I've made is this, and this will act as a force multiplier. So I've got two lollipop sticks and I've fastened them together, look, with some elastic at that end and elastic at that end. You have to really stretch the elastic band so it's really tight. I've then connected another two lollipop sticks and just at one end, I've attached again, a tight piece of elastic just to hold them in place. Then pushed the double bit into the, my elastic band's just fallen off, but it will still work as long as you've got one on. I've pushed it right as far up as I can to where the joint is there. This is held in position just with blue tack, but you can glue it on if you want to, or you can make a hole and put some wire or a paper fastener through there. I've loaded it with my ammunition, which happens to be a little pom-pom, and let's see if this acts as a force multiplier. So I'll pull it back in the same way as I did the lollipop stick and it will push my ammunition forward. So if we do it on a surface like this, it works better if you can see that. Right, let's give it a whirl. Oh, didn't even see where that went, did you? Okay, your, your challenge is to build this or whatever you've built, if you've built a better one, go for it. I want to see, with the people at home, who can make their ammunition fly the furthest. How will you measure that? You'll need a ruler or a tape. You need to record it. Record it on a table of results. Person's name, how far their ammunition flew. Who can make it go the furthest? Then, who can make it go the least difference? Now, actually, that's a big challenge to use this, to pull it back, to release it, but it only moves a small distance. Who can change the direction? Just using pushes and pulls and your full force multiplier. Who can make it fly to the left? Who can make it fly to the right? Find out who's the best force player in your family. You need to record it as a table of results so you've got scientific evidence to prove who's the best person at building, constructing, and using a force multiplier.